Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we've got this question of which we are supposed to answer and all our solutions must be on the graph paper here, right here. So question one, using a scale over one centimeters to represent one unit on both axes, draw X and Y axis for negative six is less or equal to X, less or equal to eight, and negative 4 is less or equal to y, less or equal to 8. Draw and label triangle ABC. Triangle ABC. We have been given the vertices. So all what we need to do is to follow the scale, the given scale. So let's draw. We, we make our Cartesian plane. So this is what you need to do. So I'm making the Cartesian plane here. So this will be my y-axis. Okay, so I have to find the starting point because the x-axis is ending, is going up to 8 and going uh, down up to negative 6. So if this is 0, my 1 will be here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, it's okay. So this is 1. My 2 will be here, 3 here, 4 here, 5 here, 6 right here, 7 and uh, 8. We are ending at 8. While going downwards, uh, we have, uh, this is 0 right here. We have negative 1, negative 2, negative uh, 3, negative 4, and uh, negative 5 there. Lastly, negative 6. Okay, so this is what we, we need to do. Maybe the question that you may be asking is that uh, how did I know that 1 is here, 2 is here? So if you can check nicely, they are saying using a scale of one centimeter. So from here to here is two centimeters, but from here to here it's one centimeter. Okay. And you check the number that they have given you, the number of units, it's one. So meaning you'll be moving in ones from one, two, three, up to eight there. So our X axis will be right here. It will be like this. So I'm doing my X axis here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. This is my x-axis, so it's going all the way up to 8 because it's starting, it's, uh, it's starting from negative uh, 4. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 here. This is my x-axis. This side we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So we are done doing the Cartesian plane. This is the X or Y plane. So the next thing is uh, to now draw using the coordinates that they've given us. So they have said A is negative 3, comma, negative 5. So negative 3 is right here. Uh, actually, negative 3, comma, negative 3. So negative 3 is right here, and negative 3 is right here. So point A will be over here. So you indicate point A. For point B, we have negative 1, comma, negative 3. Negative 1 is right here. Negative 3 is over here. So this is a point B. For point C, we've got uh, negative 3, comma, negative 1. Negative 3 is right here. Negative 1 is here. So our point C will be right here. This is C. So you now join the points. So joining the points there, we shall, it shall look like this. This is what we are going to have right here. I'm just joining the points. So this is my triangle, the triangle that we are dealing with. Okay. So now we go to question uh, B. For question B, they're saying an enlargement with center 0, 0, and scale factor negative 2, okay, maps triangle a, B, C onto triangle A1, B1, C1. Draw and label triangle A1, B1, C1. So how do we do that one? How do we work it out? So the most important thing that must come in your mind when you've been given the scale factor is to think how the matrix of enlargement look like. So this is how the matrix look, looks like. It looks like this. We, we do have, uh, they're saying negative what? 
negative uh, negative 2 so meaning here it will be negative 2 our scale factor will be right here so this is how it will look like this is the matrix for enlargement so the formula for the matrix for for the matrix for enlargement looks like this 0 0 there k and k there so you only need to have uh, zeros here under uh, the, uh, the the scale factor must be right here the one which is here is the one which must be here so the same thing which is right here the next thing after doing that you do this you now get the coordinates of the original matrix the coordinates of uh, um, sorry the original triangle which is right here so what coordinates do we have for a you can see on top there for a we have a uh, negative uh, three negative three there for b we've got uh, negative one and negative three for c we have a uh, negative uh, three and negative one so our job is uh, to start multiplying so this times this it's a six okay and then this times this it's a uh, a zero here we're getting a two plus a zero here a 6 plus a, a 0. I think you can see what is happening. I'm just multiplying. The next thing here, when we multiply, we shall get a 0 plus a 6. Here we shall get a 0 plus a 6. Here, a 0 plus a, a 2. And uh, the coordinates are 6 there, 6 here, 2, 6, 6, and a 2. These are the coordinates. So for A, it's right here. B, Actually, A1, B1, C1. It's right here. So these are the coordinates that we need to plot. We have A1, which is 6, 6. B1, it's a 2, 6. C1 is a 6, a 2. So these are the three coordinates that we need to do or to, to work with. So if you don't want to do or to do all these steps, the other method that you can do is... Uh, to just get the coordinates and start multiplying everything by 2. So this by 2, 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 by 2. Actually, negative 2. This is negative 2. We use the scale factor, the negative 2. So let me repeat this. Since we have got A is negative 3, comma, negative 3. These are the original coordinates of the triangle that we have. For B, we have a negative 1, comma, negative 3. For C, we have a negative 3, comma, negative, uh, negative 1. So uh, the scale factor is the negative 2. We have been given the question this negative 2. So what you do is just multiply everything here, all the numbers that you are able to see by negative 2. So when you multiply here, you get a 6. You multiply this by, by this, you get this. Here, you get this. Here, you get this. So this is it. the other method that you can do. So upon identifying the coordinates, our job now is to plot. So we know that our A1 is a 6, 6. So you go to 6 there, comma 6 is right here. So this is A1. Our A2, I mean our, our B1, sorry, B1 is negative 2, comma negative 6. It's right here. So this is B1. Our B, our C1 is a 6, uh, comma 2, which is right here. So C1. So we just join those uh, points. We have uh, this right here. This is a tri triangle which is coming out. Okay. So we have uh, drawn and uh, labeled. This is a triangle which was needed. Okay. So in other ways, what you can do, if you are not too sure of what you've done, you can, uh, you can test because they have said the center is right here at 0, 0. So how do you get to know that this is a center? Start joining the points. If they are all passing at all, at, uh, at meaning you have done the right thing. So B, B1, it's passing at here. C and C1, if you try, you try to join them. C and C1, they also pass right here. They are also passing here. If you want, you try these two. You would discover that they are all so passing at the same point, at the center right here. So we have done the right uh, thing, or this is what we needed to do. We now go to question uh, C. 
the triangle ABC is mapped onto triangle A2, B2, C2 with vertices A2, 3, comma, negative, uh, negative 3. B2, comma, uh, I mean B2, 3, comma, negative 1. And C2, 1, comma, negative 3. Draw and label triangle A1, B, uh, A2, B2, and C2. So using those coordinates, we know that our A2 is a 3, comma, negative 3. It's right here. So we shall say this is our, our A2. Our B2 is a 3, comma, negative 1. 3 is right here. Negative 1 is here. So it's over here. So this is our C. C. C2. And our, I mean, this is our B2, sorry. B2. And our C2 is a, a 1, comma, negative 3. It's right here. C2. So we have these three points. We join them. And this is what we, we are getting right here. Okay. So next will be to describe fully this transformation. So we need to describe this for transformation. Uh, if you can see, we could have said that this is a reflection, but look, this is C and this is B. B, C2. So this is, check where the B is, right here. So this shows that uh, something has uh, rotated. Okay, there was a rotation. So A came this side, C right here, and B there. This is rotation. So you can say it's rotation. And uh, the angle of rotation is 90 degrees. That's angle of rotation and rotating uh, clockwise. This is clockwise. So now how did I get to know that this is a, uh, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, it's a, uh, it's rotation. So for rotation, you first join the points. So you see where C is here and this C, C, C and C two. So join those two points like that. You just test, we're testing. And then here join uh, uh, another set of corresponding uh, points. You can join A and A here. So it's right here. So after joining them, get your compass. Get your compass. Put your pencil there. And try to mark a 90 degree. So we start with A and A2. So there you open it like that. And then bisect. Or cut there. This side, the same thing, you cut, you cut. So where are they meeting? If you can see, it's right here and here. So the center line, it's over here. The X, uh, the Y axis, okay? So you come to these other two points that you joined, C and C2. You do the same, try to find the line. I guess you know what I'm doing here. If you, do, if you have an idea of how to, to construct construction. So you do the same. This side. And this side. It's at the center there. So now, after doing that, you know that uh, this is where this line, it was here and here. For the 90 degrees line that we've made, um, uh, which is perpendicular to the line that is joining C and C2. It's passing right here and it went to the center. It went, to, it went like this to the center. So now here you check they are meeting at the center here. This is where they are meeting. So this is the center of rotation. So you say center of rotation, of rotation, it's a zero comma zero there. It's a center of rotation. So after getting that center of rotation, you can now try to test using the protractor, but all what you need to get is what I've just given you. 
it's 90 degrees. And if you want, you can test that it's 90 degrees using your compass by just uh, going at each point. So you see, let's see, we are at the center here. Okay, this is a center. And we want to test if true, this is rotation. So we'll go to where point A is. I guess you can see I'm at point A here, point A. This is point A. And then try to take it this side. If it's touching point A, it's touching point A. I guess you can see like this. You see that it's touching point A. It's touching point A. Let me try with uh, B. B is right here. And B is right here. So from here, it's touching point B. So let's see if it's, it's going to touch point B. Yeah, it will touch point B. My compass has just moved. It will touch point B like that. So this is how you test. Now, after doing that, we can now go to the next question because we have answered this one. Question D, the matrix 1, negative 2, 0, 1 there. Okay. Maps triangle ABC on triangle A. 3, B3, C3. Find the coordinates of A3, B3, and uh, C3. So we want to find the coordinates. So what we're going to do here is just to get the coordinates of uh, the original triangle because they have said uh, this uh, triangle uh, maps, uh, or this matrix maps this triangle on two triangle uh, A3, B3, and C3. So just get the coordinates of this triangle of which are a is a negative 3 comma 3 b is a negative 1 comma negative 3 c is a negative 3 comma negative 1 okay so once you get the coordinates there you start multiplying you just multiply this by this you multiply this matrix by this matrix and the solution that you get will be for a it will be Three uh, negative three comma three for B it will be negative three comma five for C it will be negative one comma negative one. So you, you even indicate that uh, A three is a uh, negative three comma three, B three is a uh, negative three comma five, C three is a uh, negative one comma negative one. So these are the solutions for question D. For question uh, E, yeah, question E, they are saying uh, a stretch with uh, x-axis on the invariant line and uh, scale factor negative, uh, negative 1. Maps triangle A, B, C on two triangle A4, B4, C4 with vertices. Okay, they have given us the vertices there for A4. A4 is a negative 3 comma 3. B4 is a negative 1 comma 3. C4 is a negative 4, I mean negative 3 comma 1. So these are the vertices. So now what are you supposed to do here? You are supposed to get uh, the matrix that you are supposed to, that you need to find. So just indicate like this. You see A, B, C, D, because they want us to find the matrix. Next, you put a, a, a one here and a one here, okay? And a negative one here, zero right here. Remember, this is, a, a, actually we're dealing with stretch. So this is supposed to be a zero and a zero here, zero, zero. And then here, since it's x-axis, negative 1, okay? Now, this is the matrix for stretch. This is the matrix that we use. And then you say equal to, you start putting the coordinates. So out of the coordinates, just pick two of them. You see, you pick two of them. So I've just picked this and this. Forget about this. Next, you start multiplying. So this times uh, this, you see, this times this, it's negative a, plus here it's a, a zero b times zero it's a zero which is equal to negative uh, three we come to the next one a times zero there it's a zero plus b times one it's a, a b which is equal to negative one you get this one negative one you are done with the, the top line the top uh, or the row here we come to this row c times uh, negative uh, 
C times negative 1, it's negative C. And uh, D times uh, 0 there, it's a, a 0, which is equal to get a 3 now. Uh, C times 0 there, it's a 0. Plus D times 1, it's a D, which is equal to a 3, which is right here. So now solve for A. So when we solve for A here, our A will be equal to a 3. Because the negative 1 plus 0, it's negative 1. You divide by negative this side and the negative, you remain with a, a, a 3. Here, B will be equal to negative 1. Here, when you solve C, will be equal to uh, negative 3. Here, when you solve D, will be equal to a 3. So, the next thing here is just now to put back. Our A there is a 3. Our B is a negative 1. Our C is a negative, uh, negative 3. And our D is a 3. So, this is the solution. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Bye-bye.